Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second episode of Decorate With Me for Fall. Today we're going to be working on the lantern that goes in the kitchen. Uh, we'll be doing decorating the lantern itself and then making a, I believe, 12 loop funky bow with a swag to go on the top. Um, and so that one is fairly elaborate. I don't do the rest of them quite as elaborate. And it will sit at the end of my counter. And the reason I'm in the bedroom now, or the craft room slash guest room, is because I have my kitchen table uh, pretty well decorated, and which I will show you when we finish with this. And so I didn't want to have to disrupt all the decorations I just put out. Not that there's a lot, but I didn't want to have to push it all back and make a mess out there after I just got it all cleaned up and put together. So I'm going to take you down to the table here in the craft room and we'll get busy working on the kitchen lantern for fall. I'll be right back. Let me get the camera situated. Okay, I think you've got a pretty good view here. We're just going to start by putting the candle inside. Uh, this is a candle I got from Amazon. There was uh, four of them in the box, I believe, and they all operate off this single um, remote control. And there's a timer for two hours, four hours, six hours, or eight hours. And so when I put this on at night, as long as the others have new batteries too, they'll all light up. So I'm going to start by putting the candle in. What I like about it is that I can put stuff in there and then not um, worry about the fact that I can't get to the candle. Now I've got a few little pieces. I, I always like to put a little something inside. So let's see if we can get a little something in here. I just put new batteries in, so it should be good to go for a bit. And that's... I love the, the, or <clears throat> the oranges that are fall, the orange color. You know, we don't craft with a lot of orange, but it is a really pretty color. I think that's just enough. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is anchor these corners. In other words, I'm going to put the same thing in each of the corners here. And I've just got a bunch of stuff out here. I don't know how it's going to go. We're just going to play with it until we figure out what it is we want to use. So I think there's pumpkins. These are the Dollar Tree pumpkins. Now let's see what you have here. This is quite an elaborate piece here. pretty. And 
another little piece of it. This must have been, obviously, is a garland. No. Oh, do I see another sunflower? Yep. pretty full right there. Um, I think I just want one more flower. I don't know if I've got another sunflower or not. Yep, I think I do. I'll put that one right over here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, let me put that candle on. I shut this light off for just a second. You can see it better. You know, garlands are a great thing to use in decorating. And like I say, you can cut them down, move them around, change their shape. And because it has everything attached already, basically. There you go. That didn't take long at all, did it? All right, let me get this put back uh, towards the back of the table here so we've got room to work on our bow. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, before we get the bow, we've got to put together the swag. Now I've got these pieces here. I've got two stems of sunflowers. Okay. And then I've got two of these stems, which are like acorns, berries, leaves. So I'm going to put one on each end there. The flowers will get up a little bit further. And then I thought it might be cute to have a scarecrow at the top. Let's see what we get here. Whoop. 
and you can bend these going to put three just to make sure that they're good and tight. I guess I broke that off. I'll stick it back down here. Yes, that's going to be pretty. And maybe... Maybe he was not meant to be. Here we go. Whoop. Here we don't go. There we go. Oh, Lordy. I go up and down and up and down. Sorry. I think that's a pretty good view right there. I'll put you up here. You can see how that's going to be here. Okay. All right, I'm going to put the ribbons out and we'll get busy making the bow. Back in a minute. Okay, here are the ribbons I'm going to use. I love this one. Isn't this cute with all of the, the scarecrows on it? And then I have a, a, an orange plaid. And then I have this one, which has the same blue in it as the scarecrow ribbon. <clears throat> and then I have this one, which is actually my double-sided ribbon, so we'll see how that works out. Now I'm going to make six inch loops, and they should be about six inch tails when I finish doing that. <clears throat> this is a 12 loop bow, which means that everything is going in the same direction the first time, and then I'll go in the second, other direction the second time. So we're going to just, easiest way to do that is just Put your ribbon in half, find a place to measure six inches. I'm going to go from 20 to 14, pinch it together, take this back piece and twist it so that you have the three good pieces together. <clears throat> okay, let's do that again. And what I'm going to do is keep sliding them down in my thumb. Okay? Okay, 20 to 14. Pinch it up. That's pretty ribbon, isn't it? Next one. All of these ribbons came from Craft Outlet. Yeah. 
and the last one. four. We'll start again. Twenty to fourteen. But this one's going this way. That one's coming around. And my hand is going to be full by the time we're finished. <laughs> this one. Oop. Don't drop the ribbons. Side down. Bring this out and twist it around. I think that ribbon is so cute. Last time through. Twenty fourteen. These colors are so pretty together. Twenty fourteen. One more. And there you go. They're all in my hand. Whoa! <laughs> now I'm going to get a zip tie. Going under my thumb because I'm not going to move that thumb, I'll tell you. 
and around to the back. Okay, now I've got it pretty good, not tight tight, because I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to go underneath. This is what I'm going to use to tie it on the lantern. Make sure it's in the middle and tighten her up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I gotta find a couple. Where's another one? I think I've got them all. Okay. Let's get our swag back. And Oh, I think I have to get another zip tie. Hold on. Oh, it was on the floor. I thought I had enough. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take another one of these zip ties and I'm going right around the middle. Actually, right over the one I had before. Colors are so pretty. All right, let's bring the lantern back. We get rid of this ruler here. And it'll adjust you up so you can see the top of the lantern.
Oops. Stop moving the lantern around, will I? And it's actually, you can see the candle in there quite nicely. It's actually over to the side a little bit. And this one can be just bent a little that way. That is beautiful. I love it. play with this bow some more. I won't make you sit and watch me play with it. But I think those colors came out so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Alright, let me go put it on the counter where it's going to live. And I'll be back in just a minute. So there you go. Isn't that pretty, huh? It has such pretty colors. I love the bow. Love it. Let me shut the light off for a second. You can see. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and while we're here, I'll show you the table. You can see we have our scarecrow, scarecrow swag. I made that last year. And I'll leave a card up top here to show you that video if you'd want to go look at it. But we have the scarecrow. We have some fall dishes. We have some um, scatter, glitter scatter. And then of course he's backed up with our two-tiered tray, our scarecrows. And you see I added some pumpkins to the case and some wreaths on the outside of the case. And then one more thing, we have our Harvest Blessing Ruffle deck, uh, Poly Burlap Wreath. So there you go. I'm excited. I've got the kitchen almost done. And we'll move on to another area. So I'll see you again on Sunday when we're traveling. And until then, I want everybody to have a great day. Keep safe. Play by the rules. Everybody, play nice now. See you Sunday. Love you. Bye-bye.